AutoCAD LT 2010 addresses one of the top Augie wishlist requests by enabling you to attach a PDF file to a drawing as an underlay. You can work with PDF underlays in the same way you work with other external references, including DWG, DWF, DGN, and image files. You can even snap to key points on PDF geometry using familiar object snaps. For more information, see the video on external reference tools. Importing PDF files as underlays isn't the only PDF improvement in AutoCAD LT 2010. PDF output now provides more flexibility and higher quality than was previously available. To improve visual quality, the default vector resolution has been increased from 400 to 600 dpi. This produces precise line weights with a reasonable file size. True type fonts are also now exported as text rather than as graphics. In addition to the improvement in visual quality that this provides, it also enables highlighting, searching, and copying text within the PDF viewer. For example, I have a PDF file that I created by exporting a DWG from AutoCAD LT 2010. Notice that I can use the Find feature to look for specific words. Additional visual improvements include the ability to specify layer merge control, to include layer information, and to automatically view the plotted PDF. To control these settings, you need to use the Plotter Configuration Editor, available through the Plot dialog box. Select the DWG to PDF.PC3 Plotter and choose Properties. The new Merge control is listed under the Graphics node, while the other settings are available under Custom Properties. If you would rather export your file than plot, a new panel on the Output tab contains options for exporting to DWF, DWFX, and PDF. Exporting enables you to choose between a variety of areas, including the extents of a drawing, a layout, or a specific window. Settings for layer information and merge control are also available here under the Export Options dialog. In addition to Plot and Export, PDF support has been integrated into the Publish or Batch Plot feature. You can choose to publish to PDF directly in the main Publish dialog, or you can use the Publish Options dialog to control additional settings, such as single sheet or multi-sheet output, layer information, and layer merge control.